welcome to edupedia world in this video we will discuss standard deviation and its coefficient now we come to calculation of standard deviation and its coefficient in continuous series in continuous series there is corresponding frequency f given against value of variable x which is in the form of class intervals we need to find midpoints m the m will be used as x for values of the variables there are three methods that is direct method shortcut method and step deviation method to calculate standard deviation and its coefficient first we will discuss direct method the steps to find out step deviation will remain same as discussed earlier in discrete series through direct method with following changes the only thing to remember is that instead of x we use m midpoints because x is in the form of class interval symbolically it is written standard deviation equals to sigma fd square divided by sigma f under root where sigma fd square equals to sum total of product of squared deviations and frequency sigma f equals to sum total of frequency or number of observation coefficient of standard deviation is calculated by dividing standard deviation by the actual mean symbolically it is written csd equals to sd divided by mean let us understand direct method with the help of following illustration in this particular illustration we have to calculate standard deviation and its coefficient from the following information using direct method marks and number of students are provided to us marks are given in class intervals and number of students are the frequencies for this let's make the table of seven columns in the first column we will write down marks which is denoted by letter x 0 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 12 and 12 to 16 in the second column we will write midpoints that is m so midpoint of class intervals we will write down that is 2 6 10 and 14 then we'll write down number of students which is denoted by letter f frequencies 4 8 2 1 we will add up the frequencies we will get sigma f equals to 50 in the next column we'll write fm we will multiply frequency with midpoints so 4 into 8 will get 8 8 into 6 48 2 into 10 20 1 into 14 14 we will add up the values we will get sigma fm equals to 90 by these values we will calculate mean sigma fm divided by sigma f equals to 90 divided by 15 we will get 6 as mean now come to fifth column that is d equals to m minus mean m is midpoint so 2 minus 6 we will get minus 4 6 minus 6 0 10 minus 6 4 14 minus 6 8 in the sixth column we will write d square minus 4 square comes 16 0 square 0 4 square 16 8 square 64 and the last column we will write fd square we will multiply frequency with the d square that is 4 into 16 64 8 into 0 0 2 into 16 32 1 into 64 is equals to 64 we will add up the values we will get sigma fd square equals to 160 now we will calculate sd that is standard deviation we will write down the formula sigma fd square divided by sigma f under root whole equals to 3.26 we get at standard deviation now come to csd that is coefficient of standard deviation equals to sd divided by mean we got sd 3.26 and mean is 6 so 3.26 divided by 6 we will get 0.54 as coefficient of standard deviation this is how we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient in continuous series using direct method. Next we come to calculation of standard deviation and its coefficient in continuous series using shortcut method. We follow the same steps as we followed in case of discrete series. The only things to remember is that instead of x we use m midpoints because x is in the form of class intervals. So formula used is SD equals to sigma FD square divided by sigma F minus sigma FD divided by sigma F whole square under root whole where sigma FD equals to sum total of the product of deviations and frequency sigma FD square equals to sum total of the product of square deviation frequency 
and sigma f equals to sum total of frequency or number of observations. Coefficient of standard deviation is equals to standard deviation divided by mean. Let us understand shortcut method with the help of a following illustration. In this particular illustration, we have to calculate standard deviation and its coefficient from the following information using shortcut method. Marks and number of students are given to us. So for the solution, we will make the table of seven column. In the first column, we will write down marks, which is denoted by letter X, 0 to 4, 4 to 8, 8 to 12, and 12 to 16. In the second column, we will write midpoints, which is denoted by letter M, 2, 6, 10, and 14. We have taken 10 as assumed mean. In the third column, we will write number of students, which is denoted by letter F, 4, 8, 2, 1. We will add up the values. We will get sigma F equals to 15. In the fourth column, we will write down D equals to M minus A. M is midpoint. A is assumed mean. So 2 minus 10 is minus 8. 6 minus 10 minus 4. 10 minus 10 0. 14 minus 10, we will get 4. In the next column, we will write FD. We will multiply deviation with the frequency. So 4 into minus 8 minus 32. 8 minus 8 into minus 4 minus 32. 2 into 0 is 0. 1 into 4, 4. We will calculate the values. We will get sigma fd equals to minus 60. In the next column, we will write d square. Minus 8 square, we will get 64. Minus 4 square, we will get 16. 0 square, 0. 4 square, 16. And in the last column, we will write fd square. We will multiply frequency with d square. So, 4 into 64, we will get 256. 8 into 16, we will get 128. 2 into 0, we will get 0. And 1 into 16, we will get 16. We will add up the values, we will get sigma fd squared equals to 400. Now we will write the formula of standard deviation and we will put up the values. After calculating it, we will get 3.26 as standard deviation. Now we will calculate CSD that is coefficient of standard deviation which is equals to SD divided by mean. So in this we have to take actual mean so we will calculate mean. Mean equals to A plus sigma fd divided by sigma f. So we'll put up the values, we'll get 6 as mean. So 3.26 divided by 6, we'll get 0.54 as coefficient of standard deviation. This is how we'll calculate standard deviation and its coefficient in continuous series using shortcut method. Next, we come to calculation of standard deviation and its coefficient in continuous series using step deviation method. We follow the same steps as we followed in case of discrete series the only thing to remember is that instead of x we use m because x is in the form of class intervals so for the formula sd equals to sigma fd dash square divided by sigma f minus sigma fd dash divided by sigma f whole square under root whole into c where sigma fd dash square equals to some total of products of steps deviation and frequency sigma fd dash square equals to sum total of product of square of step deviation and frequency sigma f equals to sum total of frequency or number of observations c equals to common factor now come to coefficient of standard deviation it is calculated by dividing standard deviation by the actual mean symbolically it is written csd equals to sd divided by mean now we will understand step deviation method with the help of a following illustration we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient from the previous illustration that we have discussed for discrete series we will take up the same illustration and for the solution we will make the table of 8 column in the first column we will write marks which is denoted by letter x that is 0 to 4 4 to 8 8 to 12 and 12 to 16 in the second column we will write midpoints which is denoted by letter m that is 2 6 10 and 14 we have taken 10 as assumed mean in the third column, we will write number of students, which is denoted by letter F and which is already given in the question. 4, 8, 2 and 1. We will add up the frequencies. We will get sigma F equals to 50. Now come to the fourth column. That is D equals to M minus A. So 2 minus 10, we will get minus 8. 6 minus 10, we will get minus 4. 10 minus 10, 0. And 14 minus 10, we will get 4. Now come to the next column, D dash equals to D divided by C. 
here c is equals to 4 that is common factor so minus 8 divided by 4 we will get minus 2 minus 4 divided by 4 we will get minus 4 0 divided by 4 we will get 0 4 divided by 4 we will get 1 now come to the next column that is fd dash we will multiply frequency with d dash so 4 multiplied by minus 2 we will get minus 8 8 multiplied by minus 1 we will get minus 8 2 multiplied by 0 we will get 0 1 multiplied by 1 we will get 1 we will calculate it we will get sigma fd dash equals to minus 15 now come to the seventh column that is d dash square so we will square up the values of d dash minus 2 square we will get 4 minus 1 square 1 0 square 0 1 square 1 and in the last column we will write fd dash square we will multiply frequency with d dash square so 4 multiplied by 4 16 8 multiplied by 1 8 2 multiplied by 0 0 1 multiplied by 1 1 we will add up the data we will get sigma fd dash square equals to 25 now we will calculate sd that is standard deviation by applying the formula that is sigma fd dash square divided by sigma f minus sigma fd dash divided by sigma f whole square under root multiplied by c we will put up the values and calculate it we will get 3.26 at standard deviation now we come to csd that is coefficient of standard deviation formula is sd divided by mean now we will calculate mean which is a plus sigma fd dash divided by sigma f multiplied by c we will put up the values we will get 6 as actual mean now we will put up the value in csd that is 3.26 divided by 6 we will get 0.54 as csd this is how we will calculate standard deviation and its coefficient in continuous series using step deviation method thank you for watching edupedia world videos